All right, guys. So I'm getting kind of hungry. We got the toaster here. I'm running a lot of loads on the EG4 6500EX. We're running the mini split at full power. I'm also charging some stuff. And yeah, everything's working really well. I actually have a 3D print going over there. So I figured while this is running the AC, while this is 3D printing, I'm also gonna throw a load at it, uh, an inductive load. I'm also gonna throw a resistive load at it with the toaster because I'm kind of hungry. So I'm gonna connect the toaster probably to this lead. And that's about a thousand watts. So we're gonna see how the system does while running everything else. I'd also like to point out, we're not using any battery power. This is all so far being driven 100% on solar. So the batteries are just chilling at zero amps going in or out. And here's the other one. Just to show you guys how good the system's been working. So the battery's at 100%. This big battery down here is at 100%. And we'll see what the loads are on the inverter real quick. I'll show you guys. So we're making 1.2 kilowatt hours from the sun right now. And the inverter is obviously probably, let's see here. So we're putting out 900, 800 watts. So it's kind of a cool day. I do have the mini split turned pretty down, but it's also kind of cool outside. So it's not running the crap out of the mini split. So anyway, it's about a thousand watts. That's a pretty good little base load. It's just interesting because I have a lot of different loads on here. I have some sensitive loads with the inverter AC with a 3D printer, those are kind of more digital. And then this toaster is just a resistant load, so kind of interesting. All right, guys, here we are at the load center. So this load test is gonna consist of four Egos, and I'm gonna lightly butter them once I'm done. So here goes one bank. And the inverter kind of ramped up a little bit. So now we're pulling from the batteries, 30 amps. So that's 1600 watts. And this one just woke up. The BMS just kicked on on that one. And this one's doing a lot of the work right now because it was already awake. This one was already in fully charged, so the BMS went to sleep. So now that it's kicking on, you can see it's kind of carrying some of the load now, starting to ramp up. They do a pretty good job about balancing each other. Obviously, whichever one has the lower internal resistance is going to carry the load more. So it says here we're at 37% output. So 2,390 watts, that's kind of what it's settling at. So once again, we're running an AC, we're running a 3D printer, and we're toasting. So, And this thing's doing it no problem. That's pretty good. Also, we're charging a ring doorbell battery, so not too shabby. All right, guys, I'm gonna let this load test run all the way through. Once my egos are toasted, I'll show you all the final product. And if we have any issues, I'll let y'all know. Okay, the first set of egos just finished. We'll check the 3D printer. As you can see, the quality of the 3D printer is still good despite the toaster going. All right, let's go ahead and inspect the waffles. Mm, I'm going to put them in for another load. These aren't quite brown either, so we're going to send them back through. Load the inverter back up again. We're going to check the 3D printer to make sure it's not doing anything weird. And as you can see, the 3D print quality is absolutely fantastic. I'm sure you guys are all wondering who did all the wiring for this project, and I'd, uh, I'd like to report I did all this myself, so I'm pretty proud of it. All right, guys, that's gonna conclude my load test. All right, guys, that's gonna conclude the load test. No issues to report of. The waffles cooked thoroughly and the machine never threw faults. As you can see, the three, as you can see, the, the print quality never wavered at all, despite the loads. So happy to report that as well. And yeah, just wanted to show you guys this little load. I thought it'd be kind of cool and I'll see you on the next one.